So you may notice two things that are a little bit strange about my appearance today. Um, number one, I'm wearing this extremely heavy sweater and that is because it is freezing cold here today. We went from like weather in the 20s to I think it's like five today and it's freezing and so I've been in a sweater all day long. Um, and number two, my hair is blonde. Uh, I got it done yesterday so it's still quite new and every time I look in the mirror it kind of freaks me out. <clears throat> but I really like it and I think it'll be really fun for this summer. Um, I've been shocking a lot of people with it um, and I haven't been blonde since I was in grade eight so that was like seven years ago and so um, it's quite a change but I really like it and I think it's fun and it's a lot closer to my natural color than the dark brown was but I probably will end up going dark brown again just because I love it so much um, but this is fun for a change so for the video today besides showing you my new look um, I wanted to do a sort of a haul um, it's just kind of like a catch-up on all the things that I've bought so far in the last little while. Um, I got a few new items of clothing, most of them were from today actually, um, and then I got some stuff from my dorm room that I really wanted to show you guys, um, just some stuff that I picked up that can fit in my suitcase, and the rest of the stuff I will be getting when I get over there, um, because I don't really have much room left in a suitcase. So I'll show you guys that. So first I'll show you the stuff that I got today. Um, my mom and I went shopping just for a little bit, um, and I only got one thing when my mom and I were out, but then when I got home, I had forgotten actually that I had ordered a dress from New Look, um, and that came in the mail, a dress and a shirt actually. Um, and so I got this dress, it's sort of like one of those pinafore dresses, so it's kind of hard to show, um, but it's really cute, it's got like a little pocket in the front of it, um, and then the back of it is the crisscross, which is really cute. Um, and then it's got like a really full skirt on the bottom of it. Like that. Um, and that was only 20 pounds. So it really wasn't that expensive. And it's super comfortable. And I'm really excited to wear that. Um, I actually got the idea of it from Jade Thurwall from Little Mix. She has the exact same dress and the exact same shirt that I got. And she wore them together. And I loved them. So I went and I found them and I bought them too. <laughs> so the shirt that I got is this crop top. It's polka dotted, which I think is so cute. And it looks really cute under the dress. Um, and that was only 10 pounds. So that is really good as well. Um, so that didn't cost too much to get over here, which was nice. Um, but it'll be a lot nicer when I can just walk into the store and get it. Um, and then today, I went shopping with my mom and next week, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but my sister's graduating from university and then two weeks after that, my grandmother is having her 80th birthday. And I wanted an outfit that I could wear to both of those things and I really didn't have anything like new or anything that I really liked and I kind of wanted something fun to go with my new hair so I went shopping and I found this dress. It's really cute. It's like a really light purple color. I know the light sucks in here because it's really dark outside today. Um, but it's like a lilac color and it's got little like cutouts in it and the back is just pretty much the same as the front and it's really cute it's really flippy and fun and it fits so well which is nice and it's so comfortable um, and that was only forty dollars and I think I will use that a lot this summer and my mom really loved it and she was like you cannot leave the store without that so I got it um, so that's what I've got so far for clothes lately um, I'm probably not gonna get too much more because like I said um, I can't really fit much more in my suitcase so there's no point in getting it if I can't take it with me so, then I'll show you what I've got so far for my dorm room. I have been collecting stuff for this past year for my dorm room, but I really don't have a whole lot because I want to see my dorm room first before I buy stuff for it. Um, but I'll show you what I have so far. So first, this is kind of like a joke, kind of. I love One Direction. I always have, and I like their music, and I really like Niall, who's the Irish one. Um, and so my friend, my best friend for Christmas, got me this poster of Niall. As you can see, it is huge, um, but it's quite lovely and I love it. And she wants me to put it in my dorm room. I said I would think about it. I'm not sure if I would have many friends if I did that, if they walked into my dorm room and saw this giant poster of Niall Horn sitting in there. Um, but I said I'd think about it and I would find a special place for it somewhere. Um, so I really love that poster. We'll see if it makes it across the ocean. 
Next, I'll show you this that I got from my wall for Christmas. If I can get into the box. Um, in a dorm room, they don't really like you to put holes in the wall, so I wanted to find stuff that I didn't have to put holes in the wall for. Um, and I found this, like, they call it a wall decal, and it just sticks on your wall. It's kind of wrapped, and it's backwards, because when it goes on the wall, it'll be forwards. And it says, Happy Girls are the Prettiest Girls, and it's a quote by Audrey Hepburn. And I thought that was really cute, and that it'd be kind of a nice quote to have on my wall all the time, so that I can remember that. Um, so that'll be really nice when I get there. And a bonus that they won't hate me for putting it on my wall. Uh, and then next, I got oven mitts, which are really going to come in handy because I like to burn myself a lot when I'm cooking. Um, I got these, I think it was like last fall, because I just love this color, this turquoise color, and they were $2 each at the Superstore. I love the Superstore. They have the best stuff, and they're such a cute pattern. So I think they'll be cute when I'm cooking, and I won't burn myself. For Christmas, my parents got me this lovely little personal strainer, because I love pasta, and I will probably cook it quite often. And so now I don't have to dig out a massive strainer, I just have a personal sized one. I have no idea how much this was, because I got it for Christmas, um, but I'm assuming you can probably get them most places and they're not that expensive. Also for Christmas, I got some little, like, cooking spoons in my turquoise color. I've decided that this is just going to be my kitchen color so that everything I have will be this color and people will know it's mine and I'll know if people steal my stuff. So these will be handy when, um, when I'm cooking. And I just got these in my stocking too, so I don't know how much they were. And my parents also got me these for Christmas, which are cute little metal measuring spoons. I have not even unwrapped them yet, probably because it's plastic and it looks kind of difficult to unwrap. Um, but those will be really cute for cooking as well. I love to bake, so you obviously need measuring spoons when you're baking. Um, so that'll be nice. And yeah, these are in my stocking as well, so again, I have no idea how much they were. Um, my parents apparently think that I need a lot of kitchen stuff. My mom thinks I'm going to be doing a lot of baking. I'd like to, but we'll see how much schoolwork I have. My sister for Christmas decided to get me something to hang on my wall. The only unfortunate part of this is, is I'm pretty sure I have to put holes in the wall to get it up, um, which means I probably won't be able to hang it in my dorm room, but if we can find a way that I can get it hung up without putting holes in the wall, then it will definitely be going up because it is this picture frame, kind of frame. It's like a clothesline that you hang pictures on, and I think that's just wicked. Um, that is so cool, and I think that would look really cool in my dorm room. So, I'm going to see if there's a way to do it without putting holes in the wall. Should be an adventure. We'll see if it works. Then I went to Chapters one day and I found a clock. I have a clock that's sitting over there on my nightstand, um, but it's kind of old. I got it when I was like 12 and I don't really like it and I don't really want to pack it in my suitcase. So I just thought I'd buy myself a new one. Um, I didn't really care if this one had an alarm on it because I'll probably just use the alarm on my phone to wake up in the morning. Um, although I suck at waking up to alarms, so we'll see how that goes. But I got this clock. It was a really good price. I think it was only $30. And it's so cute. It's just white and really modern looking. It's like a little schoolhouse clock. And I really liked it. And I was like, oh, it'll go with any color that I pick for my dorm room. So I thought that was neat. And so I got that. And it takes forever to put back in the box, so I will just leave it. And the last thing that I picked up for my dorm room was this little tea canister. Um, I got this, I think, only a month or two ago, and I just think it's so cute. And again, it's my turquoise color. And I have tea every morning and at least once throughout the day, sometimes twice. So I drink tea very often, and I knew I was going to need somewhere to keep my tea, so I think this will do very well. And this was only $11.95, so I think that's really cute. And it's like a metal material, so hopefully it won't get ruined in my suitcase. And then the last few things I bought, um, I bought a few months ago, quite a few months ago actually, there's just two coats and a hat that I bought, and I didn't really want to use them yet, so I just put them in a box and decided that I wouldn't use them until I got there. 
The first one is this cute hat from H&M. Um, it's just a black hat and it'll be really warm over there. It was only $7 on sale, originally like $15, and so I thought it'd be really cute to wear over there. And then, um, winters here can be really cold. We can get to like minus 40, so I have a massive winter coat that I usually wear, um, and I usually have to wear super heavy sweaters underneath that as well. So I decided to buy myself a less heavy winter coat that I could wear while I'm over there, because I know it doesn't get that cold. So I got this coat. It's really cute, and it's like a shorter coat, and it's got leather pockets on it, which is cute. And it's like a plaid, and it's got a hood. I never go anywhere without a hood, because if it gets cold, that's the first thing that I go to is my hood. So that'll be nice this winter. Um, I'm really happy that I won't have to wear a parka, because I hate the cold. And then I also got myself a raincoat, because I heard that it rains a lot in England. Um, it rains quite a bit here. It's raining today. But it doesn't rain as much as it does there, and usually I can just stay indoors on days that it rains here. But since I'm going to school, you can't really stay home from class due to the rain. So I got a raincoat. This one's really cute. It's The hood is white, and then it goes to light purple, and then super dark purple. Um, and it's a Helly Hansen coat, which are usually really expensive, but my best friend works at a store that sells these coats, and so she got me 50% off of the coat, which was awesome. And so I know that I've got a really good quality raincoat and I didn't pay that much for it. So that is pretty much what I've gotten so far in um, terms of my dorm room, of just anything, any clothing that I've gotten so far. Um, I'm pretty much done shopping for now. I've decided that I'm just gonna save a lot so that when I get there I can get like mugs and plates and cooking utensils and bedding because I'm gonna need bedding because I'm not taking this bedding with me, which is sad because I love it, but there's just no way it can fit in a suitcase. Um, and I've got, just so many clothes to fit in suitcases already. So I'll just do a lot more shopping there, so there will clearly be a lot of hauls for me to do once I get over there. Um, and yeah, so that's what's been going on lately. Um, my visa appointment is in a week and a half on May 28th, and I'm really looking forward to that. I have been getting everything in order. I got my photos taken today for it, um, which was kind of funny because I never thought about dyeing my hair before getting my photos done. So I'm hoping it doesn't make too much of a difference because my passport photo is one color and then my visa photo is going to be another color, but we'll see how that all goes. Um, yeah, so my appointment is on Tuesday, May 28th at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, and so I will let you guys know how that goes. I'm getting a little nervous just because there's so many documents I have to remember to take with me. But um, my mom's got lists upon lists, and so I think we'll be good with that. Um, that's pretty much all that's been going on right now. Uh, I will let you guys know if anything else happens. Um, I hope you guys are having a great Friday. Uh, subscribe to my channel, for sure, because there will be lots more videos coming up in the next few months. Like this video, if you like all the stuff that I got for my trip. Um, and leave comments below if you think of anything that maybe I should have from my dorm room, or anything that you liked, or if you want to know where I got anything, I sometimes forget to tell you. Um, but yeah, and definitely check back for more videos soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.